So I was recently asked the question, what does it mean to be wealthy? Uh, what do I think wealth is? And I think like most people, when you hear that, uh, that question, the first thing you think of is money. <laughs> I think we've seen 100,000 commercials by the time we're 18 that, that tells us uh, being wealthy is about driving a certain type of car, having a certain kind of watch, having fancy clothing, having all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and I definitely think when I was a youth, uh, that's what I chased. Uh, you know, I had a pretty unique experience. Uh, by the time I was 22, 23, I was making several hundred thousand dollars a year playing poker. Uh, by the time I was mid 20s, I had made seven figures uh, playing a card game. And so to me, being wealthy really didn't have anything to do with, with you know, creating margin in my finances, buying assets, creating freedom of time. Uh, it was trying to look wealthy. And I think that's a big distinction we need to make, looking wealthy and being wealthy. I looked really wealthy. <laughs> I had a, a brand new Mercedes Benz. Uh, I had a, uh, all my clothes were Armani and Gucci. I had these, these awful looking Prada shoes that were like 1200 bucks. <laughs> had, uh, everything was fancy, really fancy watches. Everything I did was fancy. And people would have said, man, he's probably wealthy. Truth is, I, you know, I was one, uh, one changed law away from ruin. Uh, and that's what happened. They they changed the law back when I was playing online poker. Overnight, I went from making a couple hundred thousand bucks a year to uh, to having no no income coming in, and uh, I had created this lifestyle that that needed to keep up, looking wealthy, but I wasn't really wealthy. And I think that's the kind of dream, quote unquote, more of a nightmare that a lot of people, especially in the West, chase nowadays. And so, what I want to talk about today here is that I think <laughs> what real wealth is is things that money can't buy. Now, money's a fantastic tool. Uh, and I think that you need to focus on money, of course, making money, but more so how to keep money and how to make money work for you. Uh, and that's how you really become wealthy. Uh, I make less money now than I ever did back then. By far wealthier, how much higher net worth, <laughs> tons of passive income coming in. Uh, last month got paid 14 different ways. Uh, back then, I, again, made more money every single month, but I had way more going out, way more liabilities. And so... What to me, what true wealth really is, number one, your health. Uh, if you don't have your health, you have nothing. And often we see people that'll make this trade, you know, they'll grind late hours, they'll sacrifice their body, they'll sacrifice sleep to grind a little bit more. You know, they're always on this grind mode to make money, they'll trade their health. Uh, there's a famous saying that says a healthy man desires a thousand things. A sick man only desires one. I think there's so much wisdom in that. And so I truly think to be wealthy, number one, you got to be healthy. You got to have your health. Uh, no 90-year-old billionaire uh, is going to swap lives with me right now, man. <laughs> you know, I've got youth. I've got health. I can get around. I can do anything I want. I can go run, lift, jump, explore, travel, right? Uh, somebody who's got a billion dollars but is near the end of their journey probably is would much rather go back. So what do you really look at wealth as? Well, to me, number one, you got to be healthy. Uh, number two, I think wealth has a lot to do with, you know, we have this misconception of, again, fancy stuff equals you're wealthy. Uh, right now, man, I'm in a free sweatshirt that was gifted to me, uh, Kmart shorts. <laughs> I often don't wear shirts. I have no more fancy clothes. I drive an eight, nine-year-old soccer dad SUV, just gets me point A to point B. And probably most people that would see me would think, man, he, he probably isn't wealthy, right? <laughs> uh, to me, I think I'm the richest guy in the world. I'm surrounded by family and a home that loves me. I have all my basic needs provided for. And the biggest thing that makes me wealthy, which is point two, I have freedom of time. I never have to drive to a meeting I don't want to go to. I don't have a boss telling me what to do. I am wealthy with time. I think that's what we all really want. And once I swapped and changed my perspective around on money and what money really does, to me, all money does is buy time. It's a tool that buys time. And so what I started to do was say, okay, well, how much goes out every month? I'll just make it an easy number. Let's say it's $5,000. Say that's the basic to cover my bills, pay my insurance, my taxes, all this stuff. I need five grand a month, right? All right. Well, every five grand I get invested, that's one less month I have to trade going into a job, doing things I don't like, to trade my time, which is much more valuable asset than money. We can, money comes and goes, time doesn't. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. So once I started to shift my mind then around uh, you know, what does money actually do? Well, money just buys me time. I think wealthy people start to understand this, right? This is why you create more streams of income, passive streams of income. Uh, this led us to make our biggest purchase, which was uh, 70 acres of farmland back in our hometown. 
Uh, we paid that off in four and a half, five years. And now, uh, you know, about half, a little over 50% of my basic needs are met completely passively. Uh, whether whether the crops do well or don't, we just collect three checks each year. And that pays for six months of living expenses right there without doing any work. So, you know, again, again, instead of using my money to buy a new car, have a $700 a month car payment, I don't have a car payment anymore. I'll never have a car payment again. I don't care if I got a billion dollars, I ain't having a car payment. <laughs> I'm going to invest that money into more assets that then buy my time back. So really, you know, when I'm asked this question, then I go back to what is it to be wealthy? I think you're healthy, you're happy, you have a positive mindset, you're surrounded by people you love, uh, and you got freedom of time, which I think everyone really wants. You know, I, I see a lot of people that I don't consider wealthy that have a lot higher number on a bank account than I probably do. Uh, but again, I don't ever have to do anything I don't want to do. Every day I work with people I want to work with only. I choose to only work the, on the things that I want to work on that I'm passionate about. I get to be around my family as much as I want. Uh, I think those are the things that really make us wealthy. And I think we need to have a shift in our society, our consumer societies here, especially in the West, where, you know, again, we've seen 100,000 commercials with that guy giving his wife the $100,000 car. They got the mansion in the background. He's wearing a $10,000 watch. She's in some fancy dress. And they, they sell you that that is wealth, that that's what happiness looks like. And take it from a guy who had all that stuff in his early 20s. I've never been more miserable than trying to keep up with the Joneses, trying to buy the next thing, you know? It's sort of a dopamine hit when you get addicted to buying stuff, which I was addicted to buying stuff. And once you realize, man, happiness comes from within, it has nothing to do with what I, with stuff I have, uh, you know, you realize it's the simple things. A cool exercise I did many years ago that led me to this definition of wealth was I asked myself, what does a perfect day look like for me? I really started to break this down. I said, what do I really want to do every day? What do I want my weeks to look like? It had nothing to do with the, the kind of car I drove, our expensive couch, furniture, chandelier, you name it. Everything that mattered to me was the time I was spending with my loved ones, uh, the time that I had to go to the gym, sit in the sauna, take a walk every day. That stuff matters a lot to me. Now, I'm not hating on anybody out here who, who drives a Ferrari, and that's really important to them. I think we all need to look inside and ask ourselves that question. What's wealth mean to me? To some people, they, I've talked, I've gotten an opportunity with the network I have now to hop on calls with guys who are billionaires and wealth looks different to them than it will to me. Uh, to them, they feel like they have a, a different mission, a different calling. Maybe it's philanthropical or, or this or that. And that's awesome, man. I, I don't downplay anybody else's definition. But I think what we need to do each individually is take a hard look at ourselves and ask ourselves that question. What is wealth? What does it mean to me? Not what society tells me, not what my parents tell me, not what the, my colleagues tell me. What does wealth look like to you? To me, it's just having enough passive income so that I can do whatever I want with my day. <laughs> so that if I choose to hop on here and fire off a random YouTube video like I'm doing now, that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, if I choose to take my kids to the park, which I'm going to do right when I hop off after this and go play a couple hours, that's what I'm going to do today. That's my definition of wealth. Uh, I would just urge you to take a moment and do what I did and kind of map out what your perfect day looks like. What's your perfect week look like? What kinds of things are included in there? Take a look at your budget and see, you know, what do I need to, to create that? And, you know, if I'm going to a job I don't like, can I start to take steps to get out of that? Because again, we don't get time back. That's one thing that we don't get back. That's that's the number one resource, I think, that nobody gets to their deathbed and says, I wish I would have made more money. Nobody gets to their deathbed and says, I wish I would have gotten that extra promotion. Most people say, I wish I had more time. I wish I had more, I had taken that risk. I wish I had done that, spent more time with my family, loved ones, things like that. So I just want you to pause today. Ask yourself a little bit about that question. What's it mean to be wealthy? Uh those are my thoughts on it. And I'll leave you with this. I'm really big on gratitude. I've done a gratitude journal for uh, something like over four and a half years in a row now without missing a day. And I was sick a couple of weeks ago. And so I, you know, feeling a little lower when I was sick, what I did is I went back and I read that gratitude journal and a really cool and interesting thing to me that I noticed, I bet I read 300, 400 entries into that gratitude journal just over and over things I'm grateful for. I cannot remember one thing that had to do with stuff, money, a new thing I bought, every single thing was my daughter wrapping her arms around me and just giving me a hug and whispering in my ear, I love you, daddy. 
uh, an awesome moment that my wife and I might have had on a date night. Uh, you know, adopting our son and and hearing him speak for the first time, getting our second son, you know, all these little things throughout the day were what I'm grateful for. I never really focused on, oh man, we bought this X, Y, Z. It just never made me happy. It wasn't something that I thought I was grateful for. So I'll challenge your thinking. Uh, I think society programs us to think more money, more money, more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. Oftentimes we're just working to buy things we don't need to impress people we don't really care about. <laughs> I realized I was on that hamster wheel for a while. And to get off of it, I just asked myself a simple question. What is wealth? What's it look like to me? It's health and freedom of time. That's exactly what it means to me. doesn't mean it's right for you, but I'd ask you to ask yourself that question today. Maybe drop them in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, again, not condemning you. If you drive a Ferrari, you got a Rolex, you got, that's awesome, man. If that's your definition of wealth and you have the means to get it, that's great. Go for it. Uh, but I do think it's necessary we all pause in times like this and ask ourselves those questions. You guys have the greatest day of your life. Thanks for tuning in.